All right, this is a continuation, I guess you could say a part three of my other video. Just wanted to show you that I cleaned, I did clean the ground, so I'm gonna take you in and get you a quick peek at that. There you go, that's where the grounds are. All right, grounds are nice and clean. Um, I, I guess you could say I kind of cheated and I already did start it. It started up perfectly and beautifully. Uh, and uh, I did forget to mention in my first video that this, uh, this car actually does have a replacement engine from the junkyard. And uh, again, uh, as in the Scanner Danner video, when he goes and troubleshoots that the bad ground, uh, in, the, in this case, it was my uh, ICM, but in the video with Scanner Danner, it was the, the computer, the computer's ground was, uh, was a bad ground. And uh, it was due to a uh, junkyard engine. So I don't know if uh, junkyard engines, you know, are notorious for having bad grounds. But, uh, but yeah, this, this, uh, this solved it. As you can see, my uh, temperature gauge is up. I did cheat a little bit. I already started it. I know it's going to start, and my problem is solved. There you go. I don't know if I, uh, if I, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that uh, this uh, this little uh, message center, that's where I got my um, low engine oil light. And now it's gone with the cleaning of the, of the grounds. It's all said and done, and it starts up without a long crank. You know, it starts right up the way it should start up. Let me take you guys so you can uh, hear it a little better when it starts up. Yeah, see that? 233,000 miles on the transmission and the chassis. Uh, the engine is uh, is replaced again, and uh, I'm pretty sure that's where the uh, the bad start manifested. And over the time that we had it in the car, it just kind of grew. So uh, let me turn this off. All right, that's accessory right there, and I'm going to put you guys as close to the bay as I can get you while I. Uh, Turn the key, so give me a moment. And there you go. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it sounds just like a, like a healthy car starting. Yeah, so in case you guys do have a no spark condition, no spark, no start condition, but a crank, um, don't, don't get it out of your minds that, you know, you, you, uh, it can't be a bad ground because it can be. And as, um, as I, what I took away from Scanner Danner, just don't throw parts at it. I didn't just go ahead and throw a coil at it. I didn't just say, oh, well, you know what? Spark plugs are, you know, they're coming up. So I might as well just throw, uh, some spark plugs, uh, boots, wires, and some coils do a tune up. And hopefully the problem goes away. Now this is done with troubleshooting. Did did not spend a dime. I just uh, I just had some uh, sandpaper laying around, and when I put it back, I just squirted a, t a little bit of a uh, uh, liquid wrench, the lubricating oil, on there, and it, it it runs perfectly. It's like a it's like the problem never even happened. All right. Nice, call that a fix right there. Starts up beautifully. All right. So until next time, YouTube.